Okay, this is something I learned to do recently in SketchUp. This is uh, SketchUp version 8, which uh, I don't know if older versions support this, but I'm assuming that most of them do. Um, as you can see, there's a model here that I made. This is a pickaxe, and just due to the way that I modeled it, there are lots of uh, faces and uh, if you're going to do a render, you actually want it to look nice and smooth. You can see if you go into view edge style and disable edges that this is actually pretty blocky looking uh, due to the geometry. And in a photorealistic render, that's going to look totally unrealistic. So that's uh, where smoothing comes into play. So I'm going to turn the edges back on. Now, um, depending on what you want to smooth, you may want to select certain objects or elements of your scene individually, but for my purposes there's just one object, so I'm going to do Control A to select the whole thing. And the first step is just to right click and make it a group. And once you've made it a group, then you can smooth the entire group by right clicking on it again and go into soften smooth edges Now that brings up this neat little window here that allows you to adjust dynamically the uh, amount of smoothing that is applied based on a angle threshold and then you have these additional check boxes like uh, soften coplanar and smooth normals that can uh, further facilitate the uh, nature of the smoothing. I like to check them both because I think that gives the best results. I mean, effectively you can you can slide this all the way to 180 degrees and that will give you consistent smoothness over the entire model. Now, of course, it's important to point out that you do lose a very small uh, amount of subtle angular detail naturally, but um, if you're going for a photorealistic render, uh, that uh, kind of sacrifice is uh, is going to actually be beneficial under many circumstances. So that's how to smooth objects in SketchUp. Pretty cool, right?